Hey up, Johnny here, and on this Mantic Monday, we're going to be learning how to build some of the vehicles for Firefight. All right, so the Asterian Kira Transporter or Chroma Force platform laid everything out. This section here is what you will need if you are wishing to build just the Kira Transporter. If you're wishing to build the Chroma Force platform, you will also need this section here. Okay, so the first four pieces you're going to need are these four pieces here. Majority of the kit does go together with plastic glue, but there are some pieces of PVC like this that require super glue. You can tell the difference because they'll be slightly more malleable. And then this piece just slots in there like that. And then we take our PVC piece with super glue along here and that just sits on there like that that is our super glue done with for now in fact I believe that's the super glue done for the Kira transport We'll only need it again if we're building the chroma platform. So then, you've got the two little, three little lugs here. Some plastic glue on. I was running a little bit along the seam as well. And this goes uh, this way around. Line that up at the back there. Clip those into place, like so. That's that first part done. Put that to one side. Now these two wing sections, if you're building the transporter, what you're after are the ones with these five slots down the side. If you're building the uh, chroma platform, you get this one instead, which has some more detailing and, and only the two slots. Okay, so then you find the two pieces that go together, dry fit those together like so, so you know they're the right ones. And then we've got these pieces here, they do look identical, but if you look down this way, you can see it's slightly wider here and slightly narrower here. So play around when you dry fit in to make sure, so that's the wrong one because that's sitting proud. You're after is the one that sits when you put it this way around like that, nice and snug, nice and flush. So we'll put some glue in there. And just place that in. And then, again, like a lot of the vehicles, it's got these lugs. Put some glue in there. A little bit on some of the edges just to help hold it together. And then it goes together like that. At this point, you can also put this front piece over the top. And again, there is a right side and a wrong side as to which fit in. You see that one doesn't quite fit. Just a bit of trial and error to make sure you've got your lefts and your rights correct before you go gluing things in place. There we go. And then you just repeat the same process on the other side. A few moments later. And then when you have your two pieces done and take all of these little crew compartments, these are the pieces that hold your guys in place and you'll see on there you'll see there is a slight indentation at this top end which then marries up with the indentation on these so you know which way around they go. 
so there are different ones that fit the two different sides of the transporter. What you're looking for at each time is that the long end is to the top and the short end to the bottom on each side so that they're all identical and then the same on the other side and you should now all just slot straight in because we know these are all for this side There we go, and that's your two sides with the transportation on. So what you can do then, bring this forward, and then these clip, these go on there like that. They do say, do stay quite snugly, as you can see. If you don't want to glue them for maybe transport, for moving from gaming club to gaming club, might be a little easier to just have them not attached. Of course though, if you do want to just put some glue in first, you can do and then that will be nice and tight and you've not got any wiggle room. So then for the weapon options for the transporter, it's these four bits. This piece sits on the top like that, with this piece on there, and then your two guns go either side. Now these are all quite a snug fit so again you could get away with not gluing them and then that will just sit on the top should you wish to then maybe put the chroma platform weapons on you would still obviously have the, uh, the transport rather than the detailing wings which then would miss these other sort of detailings but that is an option personally I'd build them both separately as, as they are because they are so different but for this purpose I'm not going to glue that on so that I can show you how to do the chroma as well last little bit of detailing is these four uh, sorry these three little holes here for these three little ports the circular one at the back and then the two conical ones Oop. a bit more glue in there in these two here like so. Now, if we were wishing to build the Chroma instead of the Kira Transport, as I already said, you'd replace these sections on here and these pieces would be glued into the F as well and that would be those pieces done And then, weapons wise, you have two different weapon options. You have this small piece that would fit this crossed in there, which then fits this section here, a little slot there, and then from that, you take a larger piece. Um, 
In fact, they are actually the same sort of size, but you can see these two marry up, as do these two. And that would go on there, and then this sits nice and snugly on there so that you can position it. Put that the wrong way. Like so. And then with the other one, it's exactly the same principle. That fits on there, that fits on there. Hey presto, that's should you wish to build that option as well. There we go, that is your Kira transporter complete and I've also shown you how to build the Chroma Force platform as well out of the kit. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon.